നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് സ്പ്രിങ് കൺസൾട്ടേഷൻ പ്രഷർ അപ്പം കൺസൾട്ടേഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അറിയേണ്ട ഒരു ടേമിനോളജി ആണ് പ്രീ കൺസൾട്ടേഷൻ പ്രഷർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു വാട്ട് എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ സോയിൽ വാസ് സബ്ജക്റ്റഡ് ടു എനി പ്രഷർ ഇൻ ദ പാസ്റ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾ ദ പ്രീ കൺസൾട്ടേഷൻ പ്രഷർ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ മാക്സിമം എഫക്റ്റീവ് സ്ട്രെസ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് ബൈ എ സോയിൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് സ്ട്രെസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി മീൻസ് ഇൻ ദ പാസ്റ്റ് അപ്പം നമ്മൾ എന്ത് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മളൊരു ക്ലേ സോയിൽ ഒരു കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എവറി സോയിൽ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സ്ട്രാറ്റം ഓഫ് ക്ലേ പ്രസൻറ്റ് എനിവേ so that uh, consolidation of that clay may affect the structure so to what extent uh, that clay was subjected to consolidation whether you are uh, con- constructing the structure on a clay soil which is prone to more settlement all these things is, are very important so this aspect is another important uh, thing in consolidation so uh, now uh, here you can see this curve uh, the word ratio versus the log of effective stress you can see here uh, the pre consolidation pressure means in the past to what it has been ex- uh, subjected so here you can see the pressure just before b that is called the pre consolidation pressure because here you are going to consolidate that normal consolidation line from b to c is the consolidation Pri- it is the primary consolidation this is this is the primary consolidation part so before it is subjected to some pressure so that pressure just before b it is called the pre consolidation pressure and again here in the case of you can see here after c you remove the loading and now from c to d it is the expansion part so here also just before c this particular point you can see that is the pre consolidation pressure so it is written here for the soil loaded along the recompression curve ab the effective stress close to point b will be the pre consolidation pressure similarly the other point if the soil is compressed along bc and unloaded along cd and then reloaded along dc again the effective stress close to point c will be the new pre consolidation pressure so this is all about pre consolidation pressure so based on the stress history or the pre consolidation pressure we divide the soils as three types normally consolidated soil over consolidated soil and under consolidated soil so what is normally consolidated soil that means that particular soil has never been subjected to any pressure in the past or uh, never been subjected to any pressure greater than this particular pressure which is being applied now that is called the normally consolidated soil so it is a soil deposit that has never subjected to a vertical effective stress greater than the present vertical effective stress so whatever you are applying now that is the it is exposed to that pressure only in the past nothing uh, has been applied greater than this particular pressure so here you can see uh, this is a normally consolidation and uh, sigma pc it indicates the pre consolidation so that stress is less than sigma 2 so obviously that is the normally consolidated soil now under consolidated soil a soil deposit that has not consolidated under the present overburden pressure is called the under consolidated soil that means uh, you are whatever pressure you are applying now that is also with that pressure also it is not getting consolidated so in such a case the probability of settlement is very high okay so we never recommend under consolidated soil uh, we never recommend uh, construction of any structure on under consolidated soil it is very good to construct on normally consolidated soil again next is the over consolidated soil that means that has been subjected to vertical effective stress greater than the present vertical effective stress now this is very important aspect now here you can see you are uh, applying stress states sigma 2a and sigma 2b here that means c means it is a pre consolidation pressure and from c uh, the curve moving from here from c you can see this curve moving here so that is a normally consolidation so if you apply pressure b or a that is less than c that means the soil is over consolidated okay it is already over consolidated in the past again here if you see in the expansion curve or in the recompression curve in the green line again if you apply this same sigma 2 and sigma 2b it is less than the pre consolidation pressure so whenever uh, you are applying a stress which is less than the present uh, which is less than the present overburden stress 
then that case is called over consolidation appo or example varanengil njan or simple example varan ningal or clay soil or construct or velli or structure construct cheyunu say 20 story building and it has been there for like 10 15 years and you demolish that structure and now you are going to construct a small house a three story building or some park with some small small structures which is less than that huge 20 story structure so the load applied by this 20 story structure on the soil will be higher than the present structure which you are going to construct that means you are way safer because that soil has already exposed to large amount of settlement and now whatever structure you built on that soil uh, it won't undergo any settlement due to that particular load coming from that structures okay so that is the over consolidation stage normally consolidation stage nu arayunnathu already or pressure undarunnu but ipo ningal apply the pressure adile koodalana appo already ningal korchu aa soil korchu overburden stress undarunnu and now uh, you are uh, constructing a building but due to that initial overburden that soil was consolidated to some extent so that is also a safer way that you can construct a normally constructed soil even though there is settlement it it will be um, it is acceptable that settlement but under consolidated soil it is not recommended not at all recommended for construction of any structure on under consolidated soil so that's all about uh, various types of uh, soils based on the stress states so next is uh, over consolidation ratio it is defined as the ratio of pre consolidation pressure to the present vertical effectiveness appa soil already undarna pre consolidation pressure divided by the present stress or present pressure you are applying is the over consolidation ratio or ocr so it is normally one for normally consolidated soil and ocr greater ocr is always better because they will be less compressible greater ocr means the pressure you are going to apply now is less than the pre consolidation pressure so always ocr greater than 1 is a, always a favorable condition for construction now this is a very important uh, question usually asked for university questions how after conducting the odometer test or the laboratory consolidation test from that how will you find the pre consolidation pressure so uh, you just go through the procedures uh, the steps wise it is given in this notes but uh, from this curve i will explain how you will determine the pre consolidation pressure so you have void ratio versus uh, the a pressure uh, curve here so uh, initially uh, you can see here you have a consolidation curve normal consolidation curve and again it is the expansion stage so you can see this is the consolidation stage and then once you remove the load this is the expansion stage now what you do is you draw the curved see the curved portion of this uh, the higher the, which is having the highest curvature for this curve see the point having the highest curvature and draw a tangent to this curve such that it meets at a point a now draw a, draw a straight line parallel x axis that is ac so you draw a tangent so the most curved portion of this curve which will have a tangent like this and it will meet at a point a then you draw a straight line ac and then you bisect this angle this particular you have this angle like this so you bisect this with da now what you do is you extend this normally consolidated line backward like this this line you extend this line behind in the backward direction which will meet at this bisector at a point and the point is not marked here this is the exact point so from this a uh, bisector or from this uh, merged point draw a line straight on the x axis like this which will meet at a point on the x axis so this particular pressure will give you the pre consolidation pressure for this particular clay specimen for the curve obtained here this will be the pre consolidation pressure so the procedures you just go through the procedures given in the notes for this i will just uh, scroll through the procedures so uh, step 1 is given conduct an odometer test on the undisturbed soil sample obtained from the field step 2 plot e log sigma dash plot as shown below 
The equilibrium mode ratio at the end of each of the pressure increments are used in obtaining E log sigma dash plot. Step 3 is select the point of maximum curvature on the E log sigma dash curve. Draw a tangent at that point of maximum curvature. Draw a horizontal line AC which I already showed you. This is the horizontal line AC. Draw the bisector line AD between the tangent and horizontal line. That is AD between the tangent. This is the tangent and this is the horizontal line. You draw this bisector. Extend the normally consolidated line to intersect the bisector line at O. O is not given here. That means you extend this line. This line you extend here and it meets at this bisector at this point. They are telling us this is the point O. Now the vertical effective stress corresponding to point of intersection is the preconsolidation pressure. So corresponding to this point draw a straight line right on the x-axis. That is you marking the x coordinate which will from this you will get the sigma pc or the preconsolidation pressure so this is a very important university question uh, you have to draw this graph and you have to explain how it is found out graph means just a typical rough drawing you have to you have to just draw a rough sketch of uh, a consolidation test on just plain paper uh, no need of drawing a graph sheet drawing in any graph sheets okay this will usually ask for four or five marks so it is very easy to understand and also easy to attempt because you just need to know how this uh, drawing is made to ultimately reach the sigma piece.